Welcome back gamers. So before I start this video, I want to mention I'm a manga reader, which means I'll talk about the manga and what will happen in this episode and future episodes. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So, hopefully we're on the last one. Hopefully it's, you know, not over 23 minutes because don't really want to have to do another one where it's extra time. So, this is the end. We'll see where we end off and then I'll talk about everything that's happened from like the beginning of 131 to wherever the hell we end off. Oh, it might be like a really awkward. <clears throat> My throat hurts from screaming. Babies. Hi. Uh-oh. Isn't there like one left? I remember there's like one left or some shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so we're gonna see, yeah, like the ships are gonna go towards there and we're gonna see that awkward shit. Are we gonna see more people die? Oh, are we gonna see Zeke? Oh. My guess is we're gonna end at the, okay. Uh oh. 
Bro, look behind you. Look behind you. Uh, oh, don't look behind you. They're right there. That is steam. A lot of it. Are they as tall as that though? Question. Are they? Will they be able to get up there? Mm, no. Yeah. What do you think, bro? Goofy ass! I thought he would have had blonde hair. Freak ass bitch. Fuck you, bitch. I wish her ass fucking died. Fucking treat your son like dog shit. Yeah. Wow, bro. You fucking finally said it out loud, dumbass. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, hell no. <gasps> Let's see. It's so red, dude. Holy fuck. What the fuck? Wow. Oh! 
Wow. Greasy ass. I literally forgot that his that his titan moves like a fucking like centipede like with his fucking ribs. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What's that? Y'all remember when the audio for this came out like years ago? That made me shit my pants. And now we're gonna see it, guys. We're gonna see it! It's a bird, it's a plane. It's actually a plane, holy shit, what the fuck? Homegirl, how do you see that? Oh, there it is. I was like, what the fuck? Bitch, how is there a rainstorm? What? <laughs> what? Oh, I was thought I'd be like, uh... <laughs> what the fuck? That was so good, dude. I forgot how fucking big his titan is, dude. Even rereading it, I was like, wow. Oh my god! Oh, slay! I love that. The fact that Ayakumon was able to make an emergency landing without fucking exploding, dude. Like, what the fuck? Slay. Slay. Yep. If that looks so good. Are you serious? Okay. Okay, so we have like is this like the like the one the one that uh the song of Sim was doing? Oh they said the ED was being black and white.
It is. This is really fucking good. Kevin! Where's Kevin? Okay. Wow! 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 Holy shit! That ED is really fucking good. It's probably gonna be muted. But wow! Okay. Let's see if there is any information about the, um, about, like, the next part. Attack, wait, Attack on Titan, the final season, part three, part two, will come out in fall 2023. Bro, please fucking tell me, tell me that this shit is gonna be in December. Okay, is this like an actual trailer or is this like the same shit? Girl, what the fuck? Girl, where are we going? Where are we going? What the fuck is... What what the fuck is he saying? Why is it yellow? Why is it yellow? I love that. I understood nothing today. Uh, okay, so we're getting stop playing, please. Stop playing. Stop. Stop it. Okay, so we're getting uh part uh the second half of part three and twenty twenty three fall. It better be December. Guys, it better fucking December. Okay, but this was really good. The animation was phenomenal. Beautiful. Love that. Love that. Uh, first episode. Um, wow. Haven't really reacted like that since uh, 138, where I actually cried. Sorry I was blowing my nose, by the way. I just didn't want, you know, my snot to be running down my fucking face. Because that would have been really fucking gross and really fucking annoying. So I had to do that. So, I- was that- Hold on. Hold on a minute. So the tree that they showed, um... Okay, it wasn't, uh... Because I know, like, Ymir saw- there was, like, a- the tree that Ymir, like, fell into. Hold on. Guys, wait a minute. Okay, let me. Do I really want it right now? Do I want? It? Mm, no. There, it might. It's that, or it might. I don't think they'd show the one that Kevin went to. Um, but so what they did, um, was so this is. I don't know if I said this in my fucking uh reaction to the trailer, or if it, or if I didn't say it at all. Whatever. But I was guessing that there. Oh wait, no. I think I did. And if I didn't, fuck me. But I pretty confident that I said that they're gonna be adapting like the first part is just gonna be this and then the second part is just gonna be this which wait a minute which is basically what they did what they did they added the extra little uh or did they or did I just like somehow like not fucking see that when I was rereading it hold on guys wait a minute oh well Reiner I guess like well he didn't like fucking launch him across that way he did it like that in the manga. So in the manga he did that. In the anime he fucking f flung him across like the fucking football field. Um, but yeah, so... Bye! Bye! Also, I really hope that they uncensor Halil and Ramsey's death- her Fuck! Halil and Ramsey's death in the Blu-ray. Thank you, Ryder. 
appreciated that. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not saying that like, like obviously like that shit's like really, really graphic and it made me, you know, <laughs> tear up a little bit. Um, but I really do hope that they do uncensor like everything that was censored because that was pretty bad. So, wow, we're gonna be getting uh, five chapters at the end. Also, I wanna, I was, I said this before, how the fuck are they gonna like, like what, 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 are, they, what are they gonna do with uh, all of this? With, uh, not that, but like, you know, like this shit. Kevin! Kevin and his dog. What? How are they gonna do that? How are they gonna show Kevin and his dog? Who's Kevin? Are we gonna get like an OVA of who the fuck Kevin is and his dog? Also, what fucking year? Well, no. This is like how many years is this? Like, a lot. Cause we got, we got, hey yo, bro, we're building shit. And then we got something. Something is happening. Not gonna say what it is. Something's happening. Uh, but yeah, this was really fucking good. Um, I'm really excited for, uh, the second part. Really would have wished this was all, um, airing weekly. Um, obviously, you know, they aired as a special, so it's like, it's like, oh my god, Rowan, how the fuck would they do it as, uh, episodes? Like they normally would. Like they normally would. Like they normally would. They literally made three sections, bro. Literally made three sections in this. Um, but yeah, this was really fucking good. Like I said, would have really preferred if it was weekly because I did, I think it was like, yeah, I think it was called the 100 cam is what it was called. Watch that. Pretty cool to see stuff that we were going to see, but it made me really uncomfortable because some of them looked really fucking overworked and I was like, ah, oh, I don't really like that. Uh, not really comfortable. So just watching, I think it was like 30 minutes or whatever the fuck, however long it was. It was just really uncomfortable. I was like, oh. So I don't, I still don't really know like what the point is of having a one hour special when we literally could have had weekly episodes like we've had since 2013. Uh, and then that would have given them more time because I mean, I, I guess it's cool to have it early, but then that means we have to wait until like Hopefully like like this like December of 2023, which is like Half a year from now If we're saying that it's in December then it would nine months But yeah, um What would have preferred that in my opinion um because, you know, it would have given them more- It would have given the animators a lot more time to actually do shit. They wouldn't be in already horrible working conditions. Um, which, uh, don't really like that at all. Um, but it, it would have been better. It would have prolonged the hype. Like, the hype would have, depending on how many they, like, would have done, it would have made it go on for months. Not just, okay guys, here's this special that's gonna air now. It's like what it's, it's like what they did with Stone Ocean when they put, when like Netflix don't know how this little company but whatever when they just drop it and then they don't have it going on for months, which makes more people talk about it. You get a lot more revenue because people are watching weekly. Um, but yeah. Also, one thing I want to talk about. I I'll say I'll talk about this really quickly, but this was an issue. So yesterday, March third when the episode was supposed to be coming out um for crunchyroll premium users it didn't um and i had learned that let's see if i can find it i looked it up it said for premium members you get the ch you get the episode an hour after the japanese broadcast very awkward because since i've been using it since 2019 um, it has always been five hours after. It would air at like 10, let's say like this example. It it would air at 10.25 a.m. And then five hours later it would be 3.25 a.m. P.m. Sorry, 3.25 p.m. I don't know if this is new. I don't know if it's always been like that. Um, but that's not true for Attack on Titan. Because I remember 
it would air. Like, hey guys, I'm gonna go play Minecraft for like five hours. I'll see you guys then, and I'll fucking react to it and then tweet whatever the fuck. Like, oh my god, guys, that was also fucking good. Um, yeah, it's been like that for years. So I don't know if they just say that for like anime that no one knows about or even gives a fuck about, so they can just like, oh, we can just post it, post it an hour. Which I don't know how that benefits anyone. Like, that's fucking stupid. Um, but instead of it being five hours after, it was eight. Eight hours after the uh, Japanese broadcast. Eight fucking hours with zero communication. Crunchyroll tweeted three fucking times on Twitter. Every single tweet had over 600 fucking replies. The last episode of part two for season four went from 7.1k comments. That was just all hype, like when it fucking ended. To when this special dropped, it was at 11.9k. Which was just people saying, hey, where the fuck is the episode? Where's the episode? No one knew a single fucking thing. No one knew what was happening. Crunchyroll just literally, it was very obvious they were avoiding, like, going on social media and saying shit. It's like, guys, let me, let me, uh, let me tell you a little fucking secret. It doesn't fucking matter if you announce it or not. People are going to be on your fucking website on the exact same fucking page. Thousands of people are going to be on the exact same fucking page between the hours of the broadcast to the end of the fucking day, whenever the fuck you post it. People are going to be refreshing. The traffic is going to be a fuck ton. If you are going to be a fucking streaming service that is streaming one of the most popular fucking anime series ever, you need to, at the bare minimum, deal with the insane amount of fucking traffic you are going to fucking get. It's not a flex that your website crashes. When I was reacting to the first episode of part two, aka episode 17 of season four, I waited two fucking hours and guys, Crunchyroll is gonna, you know, they're gonna, uh, actually do it. They're gonna fucking upload it. Uh, spoiler alert, they fucking didn't. I have to get a fucking Funimation premium account just to watch the first episode. And then after I was done, I immediately fucking canceled it. You want to know why? Because Funimation had it. They don't have as much traffic back then. They didn't have as much, well, still now. They didn't have as much traffic compared to Crunchyroll, but it's like... What are you doing? I was in my room, that's why the fucking color of, like, that's why everything was, like, a lot, like, yellower in my room. Was because my blinds were closed, because it was, like, fucking, uh, like, winter. So, uh, daylight savings is a thing, so it got a lot fucking darker, and I'd use my fucking lamps. Because I was waiting! I was waiting! Doing fucking nothing! I was like, guys, it's not that the episode isn't loading, it's that the episode isn't on the fucking website! And it's so ridiculous, because this is not the first fucking time it's happened. This has happened multiple fucking times. And it's like, the thing is, is that if you either, you can, you can pirate an anime or you can watch it legally. The thing is, it doesn't fucking matter which one you do because none of the money that you're fucking spending is going to go to the actual fucking animators in Japan. Whether you live in Japan or not, especially if you don't live in Japan, there's no direct way to actually help those animators in that specific, for that specific animation studio. There's no fucking way. That, that's the unfortunately, unfortunate fucking reality. Which really fucking sucks. Because when I was watching the 100 cam for MAPPA, for season, for like, this special, I forget, I don't know what his name is. This dude, it was like, can he go home? Can he stop? Like, this dude literally looks like he is like a millisecond away from fucking collapsing. Like, it's not funny. Like, seeing that... It's like, I don't like that. That makes me uncomfortable. So why the fuck am I going to be paying Crunchyroll crunchy fucking, what, seven ninety nine eight fucking dollars to watch one fucking show? I only have Crunchyroll to watch Attack on Titan. I don't even watch a lot of anime. I'm going to get real with you. I really fucking don't. So I've been paying seven months for one show that isn't even airing every single fucking week. So really, let's be fucking realistic here. Pirating or Crunchyroll or watching it legally, which one's better? Which one? Neither of them are going to actually help the studio that fucking makes this shit. Crunchyroll is a multi-million fucking dollar company that cannot do the most basic bullshit. I don't even know what the, I don't even know what it was like when this shit dropped like yesterday because I did I wasn't off I was also off social media, wasn't even trying to go on the app and see what the fuck was happening. Girl, what the fuck? 2018? Bitch, never mind. I've had Crunchyroll Premium since tw tw since 20 fucking 18. That was. Nope, I had it for uh, I had it for uh, 
uh, season three part part one for the serum bowl. I remember, and also for uh, Golden. No, I I watched Golden One twenty nineteen. Doesn't matter. But yeah, um, there isn't really a difference. It's the same exact thing. So I I'm being serious here. I saw some people also saying that they were going to cancel their membership because it's bullshit. And honest to God, I really hope a lot of people do. I hope a crunch roll loses a lot of fucking money. Because shit is- it's not like- this is- shit is like, not okay. It's not trolling. It's not being funny or haha. -ha. No one laughed because you're eight hours fucking late. The amount- there were people that, you know, obviously, you know, you shouldn't miss important things for a fucking show. But it's like, there are people who missed work, school, they missed so much shit to wait eight fucking hours for y'all to then tweet, Okay guys, uh, 10 and 10 is streaming now. What do you mean? What do you mean? This should have been out at 325. It is 6 p.m. What are you fucking doing? Where's the money going that you're getting from premium members? By the way, one of the, uh, one of the, uh, memberships is like $14.99. What the fuck? Yeah, bro, let me pay $15 to a company that cannot do jack shit. Are you, like, are you taking the money and just wiping your ass with it? Like, what the fuck are you doing? It's not a flex that your website crashes when an insanely fucking popular show that you know, that you know is fucking popular will crash your fucking website. You wanna know what is a flex? Being able to fucking handle the insane amount of people that are going on your fucking website to the same fucking page at the exact same fucking time. That is a flex. Because that means that your, your server can handle it. But for some fucking reason, Crunchyroll is just like, guys, um, if, if we if we don't say anything, then maybe they won't go on the website. We will! People will! You fucking dumbass! Oh my god. So basically what I'm saying is, um, pirate. Pirate. Because doesn't really fucking matter. Because <laughs> pirating versus actually paying for it doesn't really fucking do anything. You're paying for a stupid fucking website that doesn't do jack shit. Doesn't even have a big fucking catalog. Let's be fucking realistic here. Uh, if I didn't take a picture of, like, what Kiss Anime was like before, but I'm pretty sure Kiss Anime had one of the biggest fucking catalogs on a pirate website ever. If Kiss Anime had become a legal website, Crunchy Roll would no longer exist. Because guess what? Would you rather pay for multiple fucking subscriptions to only watch one anime on each website, or would you rather pay one subscription on one website that has everything? If, Crunchy Roll, if Kiss Anime was able to keep every single license and we didn't have any copyright issues, none of that bullshit, they would be on top and Crunchyroll would just cease to fucking exist. Sorry about that. Sorry, Randy. It just was a really, really big thing that really fucking pissed me and a lot of other fucking people off yesterday. But, uh, back to, uh, the main thing. So, we have, uh, this last half of part, um, of part three. Wait a minute. Yes, part three. So we know part three is going to be coming out um, in the fall, hopefully December. Um, and God, wow. I'm scared. So if you guys enjoy my reaction, and I will see you guys when they drop a trailer for the last part or when like the last part airs. So I will see you then.